briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that raised questions about officer conduct during high stakes pursuits, the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit in 2011 ruled on a lawsuit involving a minor traffic violation, a fleeing suspect, and a late night police entry. The pendulum swung toward citizen rights when it was concluded that a minor traffic offense did not justify a warrantless entry into a home. The case, Mascoro v. Billings, began when police officers noticed a suspect driving without taillights and attempted to pull him over, only to find him fleeing to his family's home. In hot pursuit, officers followed into the Mascoro family's home, entering without a warrant on the claim of probable cause and exigent circumstances. The officers' actions that night which included alleged threats and the use of pepper spray, sparked a lawsuit from the Mascoro family, who accused the officers of violating their constitutional rights. After the lower court's ruling went against them, the police officers appealed, seeking what's known as qualified immunity, a legal protection that can shield government officials from being held personally liable for actions performed in the line of duty. The crux of their claim hung on whether the pursuit of their son constituted urgent circumstances that would allow them to bypass obtaining a warrant, an argument that tried to contend a minor traffic misdemeanor as a serious offense. In a pivotal moment for the protection of citizen rights, Judge O'Brien's majority opinion denied the officer's motion for summary judgment based on qualified immunity. The judge stated that evidence suggested a violation of a clearly established constitutional right. The gravity of the underlying offense, the minor traffic misdemeanor, was not grave enough to qualify the situation as an urgent circumstance leading to warrantless entry. Thus, the Tenth Circuit held that the warrantless entry of the Mascoro's home over a minor traffic violation was in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Upholding the lower court's judgment, the court ruled that the police officers were not entitled to qualified immunity. This decision pointed towards law enforcement being held responsible for their actions, even when faced with a potentially dangerous pursuit situation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.